The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has raised an alarm over increasing court cases arising from the conduct of primaries for the nomination of candidates by political parties. The Commission says it is currently joined in about 600 court cases, adding that last week alone it was served 70 court processes in one day by a political party. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu was speaking at the opening of a capacity building workshop on electoral processes for justices of the Court of Appeal and members of election petition tribunals in Abuja. He's concerned that with only 109 days to polls, litigations over issues of nomination of candidates will eat into vital time for preparation, stressing the importance of workshop. The INEC chief says a similar workshop organized ahead of 2019 general polls resulted in a sharp reduction in number of court cases that arose and also a reduction in number of nullified elections by the election petition tribunal. The implication is that we'll be dealing with issues of nomination of candidates, thereby eating into vital time for preparations for the procurement of essential materials for the election. It also means that courts will be dealing with the same issues long after the general election. Some of you would have noticed that because of some of the pre-election cases pending in court, we sometimes declare political parties winners. President's Court of Appeal, Monika Dongbang, Mensem, hints that 277 trusted and experienced judicial officers were nominated as members of the election petition tribunals. She urges them to resist any form of compromise, emphasizing that they should not allow themselves to be used as tools to disrupt the electoral process, warning the judges to shun unnecessary applications for adjournment. In order to forestall the incidences of conflicting judgments and rulings which tribunals and courts have experienced in time past, we have also developed a case management system in the court whereby all decisions of the tribunals, of tribunals and courts are scanned and uploaded for ease of reference. The training which will afford the judicial officials the opportunity to build on past experience and learn more on the new Electoral Act 2022 featured the swearing-in of members of the tribunal as well as... I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. Your lordships should count yourselves worthy to be so entrusted with this humongous responsibility of deciding the fate of those that will be contesting elections into various political offices in the country in the year 2023. Though judicial officers are not known to possess some supernatural powers to perform wonders, I can confidently assure you that the society that we live in operates will certainly expect the impossible from you. Launching of Judicial Electoral Manual by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Arimola, Ani T. Patrick, Co. Seven News, Abuja.